alive in their own words. For the first time, we're hearing what happened the night police say two 12-year-old Waukesha girls stabbed their friend 19 times and left her for dead. Tonight, we go inside the police interrogation room. You'll hear one of the girls describe how they tried to kill their friend to appease, appease a fictional online character named Slenderman. It happened back in May. Morgan Geyser and Anissa Wire are accused of luring their friend Peyton Leitner into the woods in Waukesha to stab her to death. A judge will take today and tomorrow to decide if there's enough evidence for them to stand trial. As 12 News reporter Nick Bohr reports, tonight lawyers played video from the police interrogation as one of the girls describes the moment they turned on their friend. Some nine months after 12 year old Peyton Lutner staggered from a Waukesha woods stabbed 19 times, her accused attackers are hearing the evidence against them. Earlier judged to be mentally competent, 12 year old Morgan Geyser and 13 year old Anissa Wire are in court for a hearing to decide if their case should go to trial. She felt as though if she needed to prove that Slender Man existed. Um, and would be able to do that by killing somebody. Detectives who questioned both girls said they gave similar accounts of luring their friend Peyton, who they nicknamed Bella, to the woods to kill her, to please the fictional character Slenderman. Then the defense played a recording of Anissa's police interview. Morgan jumped on top of Bella and started stabbing her repeatedly, and that's when I turned around because I couldn't stand to see that. Okay. And then. Um, the whole time, Peyton was screaming in agony. <sighs> Saying stuff like, I hate you guys, I'll never forgive you, and I trusted you. When she realized that Peyton was um, still alive, I asked her how she, you know, how that made her feel. Um, and at one point in that discussion, she said, well, uh, the bad part of me wanted her to die. The good part of me wanted her to live. And the defense attorneys here are trying to convince the judge that the girl should be charged with a less serious offense than attempted first-degree intentional homicide and therefore uh, treated as the children that they are by the court system. Again, this hearing continues tomorrow. Live in Waukesha, Nick Bohr, WISN 12 News.